So yesterday was Valentine's Day, and I spent it like I spend all my Valentine's days alone because I don't have any friends and I don't date at all. Um, and I, I like it that way. I don't like to date. Um, the reason that I don't is because I honestly can't handle it emotionally. Like, I don't think my brain is wired for the, that kind of stuff. I tend to get really, really clingy. I'll, I'll give an example, actually. Okay, there was this one time where I had a, a boyfriend, if you want to call it a boyfriend. Um, it was in grade school, so, you know, you call him boyfriend, girlfriend, but you're not really doing anything. And I fell for him. You know, I was really, really into him. And, you know, it started off as, like, the normal little kid stuff. You write his last name in your notebook, and it's a crush, and this and that. And it went from that to, like, obsession in relatively no time. And it would get to the point where, you know, I would write him poems and paint him paintings, you know, with my blood and stuff like that. And I, I think I remember trying to shave my head once. I'm not sure what that has to do with love, but my thoughts start to get really distorted and I don't know, I guess I'm gonna die alone. It's like on one hand, I want friends. You know, I want people to like go to the mall with and hang out with. But then on another level, I kinda like being alone. I don't really like spending time with other people because I feel like I have to put on an act and behave a certain way and I'm pretty depressing to be around, you know. Yeah, I can be kind of a downer. It really sucks though, because I'll have friends and then I'll have to break it off with them. And it's like, it's not you, it's me. I cannot be your friend. And they're like, well, I just want to be your friend, you know? It's not like I'm asking to be your husband or boyfriend or anything. It's like, I can't even be friends with you because I'll get obsessive and clingy and then suicidal or homicidal. That's how it was with my last friendship. I tried to kill her because I loved her. And that made sense to me. So, I don't know. When I get into, like, a relationship, my brain starts malfunctioning and I can't really reason. I was reading some uh, old diary entries that I had um, written years ago when I was still infatuated with this one guy. It was kind of scary. Yeah, what I had written. I was writing in blood and stuff, like, I'll kill for this person, and, you know, anybody who tries to hurt them, I'll kill them too, and just crazy stuff. But now it's like, I'm still kind of torn, because, you know, I, I do want people to talk to, and I, I do want friends, but I don't want to be in that state. You know, oh, it just sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I hate Valentine's Day. I really do. At least today, all the candy is on sale because Valentine's Day is over. So I'm going to go buy some chocolate for myself. I'll make myself my Valentine. I'm gonna die alone forever. That's nice. Hopefully I'm not the only person who feels this way. Cause that'd be really sad. Oh gosh. Another thing is I start to get really dependent on that person. So. I feel like 
a part of me is missing when they're not there and not in like a I miss you when you're gone kind of way but like sort of become a part of my identity and I don't know it, it becomes my whole life and it consumes me in a way that is not healthy at all in a way that will get you in the hospital so that's why I stay single partly because I want to you know, I like being alone. And then also, I know I can't, based on past experiences. I, I couldn't even if I did want to. So, that sucks. Forever alone. I'm going to die alone. Man. Oh well, that's life. What are you going to do? Now oh, it's just so sad thinking about the way I get and how now I'm all alone in my room knowing that I have people who want to hang out with me right now and saying, "Oh, I can't hang out. I don't want to get too close to those people." For their own safety and for my safety. You know, it's better for everyone if I just stay a hermit in my room. Sucks. It really sucks. But yeah, that's it. I'm forever alone. Only half of me wants to have friends anyway bigger part of me just enjoys the solitude. I'm my own best friend. <laughs>